Timber Talks is brought to you by Wood Solutions. Stay up to date with the latest in timber, the building material that is strong, safe and sustainable. Here is your host, Adam Jones. Timber structure is the best designed of systems, taking into account structure, acoustics, thermal and fire. Now a hybrid system can leverage the advantages of different materials to solve the problems in the most effective manner. And today we're speaking with Rob Nestick from TGA Engineers about the utilisation of timber, concrete, composite systems. So in this conversation, we're going to discuss the performance aspects of the TCC system, prefabrication and the nuances around pouring concrete off-site or on-site, and the supply capacity of Australia for such systems. So this is a very smart design that is popular overseas and has a lot of potential for projects within Australia. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy this conversation. So without any further ado, here is my conversation with Rob Nesty. Thanks so much for coming on the podcast, Rob. Can you start by telling us a little bit about yourself and, and what you do? Yeah, thanks for inviting me along to today's uh, discussion um, on TCC. Just a bit of background on myself. I'm a structural engineer who um, specialises in timber and have been doing that over the last 20, 20 odd years or so, uh, probably 30 years now since mm. I, I, I got involved at uni in postgrad work, but um, yeah, have a real deep passion for timber structures. We're a consulting engineering firm that um, dabbles in everything, concrete, steel, timber, glass, aluminium, etc. cetera. Um, and on that basis, uh, we provide an all-round type of uh, approach, but we also uh, provide design and fabrication advice uh, for others, but also do some fabrication ourselves on specialty type structures. In the point mm. of view. Yeah. Fantastic. And one of the specialty type structures we're speaking about today, which had a really interesting system, was the garden building at RMIT. Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Yeah, so... The project came up um, a number of years now ago um, where they wanted a three-storey uh, prefabricated timber post and beam system that had a timber and concrete composite four deck. The original design, um, from my understanding, was to be constructed in situ, um, which presented some challenges because there was off-form concrete, so there was visible concrete to the underside, um, but also just the geometry of the of the, the project uh, required some some good thought in how to actually assemble it and and and, and um, construct it. So we went in on the project tender with a prefab option. So we were going to do all the concrete elements, the TCC elements off-site. Um, and provide a system to site which could be erected by a crane, thereby eliminating the concrete formwork and a lot of those other trays that need to be on site during the installation. Uh, that had many benefits. One, reducing the number of staff on site, reducing the time of construction, but also um, providing a, a more durable workplace in terms of exposed timber. So if it was to be poured on site, there would be a significant amount of time the timber would be exposed to the weather, um, whereas this allowed us to, to prefabricate everything internally and assemble it. The actual assembly took 15 days in total on site, so to erect the columns and each of the floors through there. We're also the, in the prefabrication unit, we're able to install all the services, um, ensure that all the set downs or the ramps and all those were poured uh, according to the architectural set out um, but also there was some specialty concrete that required some some, uh, some curing time and you know a little, less exposure to the elements during during the construction phase so so that enabled us to come up with a pretty high quality finish but also control the seepage of concrete paste during the pour to achieve an off-form concrete finish to the underside. So um, mm. we were able to achieve that high degree of finish that uh, was required. Yeah, and I understand, Rob, you, uh, you fabricated this inside your factory, which would have been interesting. So was there advantages of, uh, I guess, quality control in, in the prefabrication aspects of this? 
Yeah, hundred um, percent. We were able to do, you know, detailed checks against the dimensions. You know, make sure that uh, certain set downs and certain positions of services were all placed in the right position. Um, yeah, so it gives you that ability to, to provide a more accurate layout uh, on that basis to ensure that everything's uh, positioned properly. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, performance aspects of the system? Because traditionally, I, I guess the, the normal way to design it is you'd have your timber structure and then you'd have another layer or, or a another design aspect on top of that which is acoustics and then and fire do you think we can solve multiple problems at once with the with this structural system tga engineers have used tcc systems in apartment blocks um, within inner melbourne where mm. they're three-story type structures um, it provides a rapid method of construction where um the builder can maintain his carpentry crew on site to build up to three storeys uh, and then use his concrete crew to come in once the structure has either been locked up or still in the frame stage to pour his concrete. The advantages we found with TCC over conventional uh, floors is it does provide that additional acoustic benefit. It gives the user... Or the, and the developer feel of a concrete floor system, so a very rigid floor, mm. but not for the expense of a concrete floor system. So a number of our developers have used this over the years, um, and it provides a, a good solution to the system. It also provides um, you know, the fire rating required between, between floor levels. Um, we find that achieves that with some degree of... Um, Resilience. So at the end of the day, you don't all the requirements of MRTFC, fire blocks, char blocks. Some of that's removed because you have the ability to encapsulate uh, floors with mm. with the concrete system. So yeah, that's so interesting. So in some circumstances, there can be uh, cost savings if the builder and, and developer get all these things right. Is is that correct? Correct. Your experience? What about Yep, sorry about that. One of our developers um, originally um, tended on a project that was block work and one deck type slabs, three stories high, and that was a twelve month build according to his uh, program in in a in a uh, Melbourne. He looked at the TCC option, and because he was able to keep his carpentry crew on site uh, during the build, he saved actually three months on the build. Um, so he actually uh, improved the timeline, but also because it was a, because it was a narrow street, um, the number of traffic management and, and shutdowns of that particular street were significantly reduced. So that also saved him uh, grief with the uh, adjoining properties, but also um, really reduced the number of uh, um, requirements in traffic management. Yeah. Yep. One of the so when you when you pour concrete, it can, as you mentioned, serve the acoustics purpose. Um, in terms of getting that structural benefit as well, do we? Is there a way of adding, I guess, shear connectors to get it to get the composite action? So it's providing that uh, structural benefit also in addition to acoustics. Yeah. So if we were to design a floor joist to carry a wet concrete system without any connections on a, say, for instance, on a six metre type span, we would need a beam of 450 deep timber beam section to, to carry that load at, say, 600 centres. With a, a shear connected system, so, and there are a number of methods out there that have been uh, tried and tested and used over the years. Um, some of them are just simple screw systems, uh, some are proprietary brackets that get fixed to the timber and others are notches within the timber. So all of them have their benefits um, mm. and degree of fabrication required. Uh, with that shear connected system, we can reduce our floor joist to 300 deep. So, and then the screen on top of that, plus uh, 
the interlayer being particle board or, or plywood, depending on what you use. So yeah, through that. So so it still keeps the floor depth at a reasonable overall depth that in terms of section. Mm. Yep. So moving forward now, what do you see is the supply capacity of uh, interesting systems like this in Australia currently? And is it going trending in a direction for us to be able to design with these products? A number of builders, you know, tier two type builders that we've discussed these type of systems with find the benefits in them, um, especially in the durability aspect during construction phase. Um, it provides a better surface to work on and less remedial work required um, on the timber floor system to, to get it back to a state where a covering can be put onto it. Um, a lot of these can be done in situ, so you don't need specialised workforce to do some of these. Um, it, it can be stick framed or cassette framed and then a concrete screen poured after uh, in some of these um, multi-storey type structures, which is the simplest form to do it. Mm. Uh, and usually you have trades on site, concrete trades on site anyway, or you've got a concrete um, contractor involved in the project. So the, there's usually um, that trade on site to, to assist. In terms of prefabrication, there are a number of um, uh, companies within Australia who could provide this system as a prefabricated item um, based on their timber supply. So ash or, or potentially... Um, TGA, or, and, and as a cassette system, there are a number of trust companies, but also um, wholesalers who can provide a cassette system as required. Yeah. And uh, when we were speaking earlier in the week before this podcast, you said how in internationally it is uh, a little bit more common than it is here. So, um, yeah, what, what have you seen internationally? Um, it, it seems to be more widely used in Canada. Um, a lot of the structures that we've noticed over the last probably five years have used a concrete topping, and I suspect that would be due to the acoustics and, and fire requirements um, through there, but also provides a um, composite action between the, the timber elements, whether they're steel, T or joists systems, so that you get a composite action, so you don't get a penalisation for, for using uh, that system. Um, but also it gives the ability to hide or, or embed the services that may be required, such as data or, or power you know, and some small um, hydraulic services that may need to be embedded in there as well. Um, but the, yeah, the trend seems to be towards TCC uh, in a lot of those uh, overseas markets, especially in Canada. In, in North America, um, Europe, yes, they're, they're starting to 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 use that within structures. Um, through there, we're, we're noticing more structures within the Europe scene also using those. And a lot of research has been done in Europe um, in terms of TCC. So there's a lot of good good published papers on long term performance and and shear connected systems. So, yeah. And also, you a number of companies over in um, Scandinavia are using a trust floor system like a posi or, or a nail, gang nail plate and using shear connectors within that to provide a, a, a composite floor system as well. Yeah, uh, the hybrid solution, right material for the right job, looks like it's going to win out uh, going forward, it sounds like. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, Come towards the end of this year, Rob, it's been a very interesting year for everybody. Are you excited for 2021? And, and what do you think's in store as, the, as we push back and um, things open up and, you know, maybe hopefully the construction industry has another boom? Yeah, looking at this year, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of good timber structures out there, a lot of good opportunities in timber, um, not, you know, not only in the, the multi-storey um, office type structures but there's a lot of other smaller uh, projects going on out there at the moment uh, i see that still continuing on in 2020 um, a lot of timbers being designed into commercial projects um, but also into um, educational projects and that will continue from uh, the types of um, 
systems that we've been seeing or designs that we've been seeing over the last couple of months. So, yeah, I think it'll still be strong in the in those sectors. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks so much for coming on the podcast, Rob. No, I appreciate it. Thanks very much for uh, giving me this opportunity. Yeah. If you're interested in learning more about timber concrete composite floors, Wood Solutions Technical Design Guide number 30 has all the information that you might need to design it for your next project.